Okay, friends, so I'm trying to uh, recreate the lovely um, kind of Pan-Asian fusion lo mein noodle noodles I made for my friends on Saturday. So what I'm going to do is instead of the Cantonese lo, lo mein, I'm using Shanghai, which are noodles, which are um, a little thicker. And they are, I want to open it. They are, they have a yellowish color. I'm told that these, that doesn't mean they're egg noodles, but that's because, that they're made with an alkaline solution, um, uh, which uh, turns them a bit yellow. And I'm putting them in here because I'm just going to, Add a little boiling water so they are not all sticky when I mix them up in the wok at high heat. I'll take this away and I'll show you what else I'm doing. I already uh, pre-chopped quite a bit of um, mint and well, an entire, you know, a head of mint. I chopped, drained, and um, spun out my leeks. Leeks are obviously awesome. And I chopped up about a third of a can of water chestnuts. This is all gonna give us some bite. And right now, before we get going, the water's starting to boil. I'm looking for my knife. Oh, here it is, right under the camera stand, which makes everything uh, so much more <laughs> dumb. Anyway, so I'm gonna cut off the base. And instead of using radicchio, radicchio uh, and and um, frise, I'm gonna chop out, I'm just gonna take off some of the harder, harder parts of the uh, Napa cabbage. These are baby Napa cabbages, and it's just one, but these are going to add crunch and they're not going to be cooked. I'm just gonna chop, chop, chop. And um, they will, uh, they'll be thrown in at the end. I want to make them kind of bite-sized if I can. Um, I love this fresh part in the center. That's the best. And I don't think, you know, there's really nothing um, you have to worry about here except for that just to know that this will be the kind of fresh, crunchy element. Um, the water is starting to boil, but it's not boiled. I don't need the thickest leaves. Uh, I kind of prefer just the crunchy leaves. It's quite a lot, but you know what? This recipe makes a lot. So I'll just do a a rough chop and then we're going to throw put that back in to the spinner they've already been washed and this will be the addition that provides a little crunch so you don't need ridicule and you don't need frise um i think it would be lovely to have those uh, bitter slash slash sweet elements but this cabbage worked really well last time now the big deal is we're going to get all of the mushrooms ready here so I have king mushrooms and you know what, there's a lot of mushrooms. But this is, you know, we all know that mushrooms have 
there's a lot of water in mushrooms and so we're just gonna chop it up fairly roughly but a little bit bite-sized you know um these will be marinated a bit with the with the uh, mint strangely enough oh i hear the water is coming to a boil i'm not going to cook these uh, fresh noodles. I just want them to separate. Hold on. I'm going to just let them soak in there for a, a few minutes and then I'm going to drain them and I'm going to put some peanut oil on to keep them from clunking together. And actually these are E much easier to deal with than those very delicate. Uh, ooh, let's see. These very delicate um, Cantonese noodles I use. So I will be draining them here. Uh, they're not cooking. We'll just, I'll, I'll give that a. We don't want to read, they're, they're fresh. We don't want to cook them, but because they're going to be, we want them to be, have a little firmness, el dente, as they say, in Italian cooking. And I'm going to just make sure that our King mushrooms are chopped. They don't have to be, it's a really rough chop. Put them in with the mint. This is obviously not a Chinese dish. It's, I guess it's a fusion or pan-Asian. And of course I give all the credit to Meyer and Chang because Mars and Chang is my new um, kind of idol. So that's that, but that's not everything. Okay, I don't want to cook these like spaghetti. I want to dump them in the colander. Like that. And I want to put a little peanut oil on so that they don't stick just a little like that and i will continue chopping my shiitakes like this taking off the stems of them these stems are kind these stems aren't hard okay notice they're all organic and we're just gonna chop those up into pieces. Okay, that one might be hard, it's a big one. And add it to the to the lemon. Oh sorry, to the to the mint. And I also have um, an entire container of oyster mushrooms. And these are also going in. So this is a vegetarian dish. It's going to be delicious. And the flavor blows your mind. It was really quite serious. I'm going to use my hand here. Oh, that's hot, but I just want to get them soaked a little bit in the oil so they don't stick. When I'm done, I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I have all those different types of mushrooms. Oyster, uh, king oil, uh, king oyster mushrooms, king mushrooms, and I have um, uh, oyster king mushrooms and shiitakes. And they're quite chunky and big. And I'm now stirring them up here with the mint. And it smells really good. And it's not particularly Asian. Well, it's not Chinese, it's Pan-Asian. And I'm going to throw in some olive oil and a little bit of pepper. I'm not going to add salt because I think that 
I have probably enough salt in the fun sauce. Okay, just a little like that. And we can just stir this up like this. And they can set, be set aside so that they um, ruminate. That sounds like they're thinking. So they can, they can be melded in together with the with the mint. And if you think the mint is weird, you'll actually, it is weird, but it's actually quite amazing. And after that, we're going to get the pan really hot and we're going to, we're going to uh, wilt the leeks down at a high heat and add the water chestnuts and we're going to remove those and you'll see the next stages. Okay, so I'm, I'm heating up this oil to a very high point. It's starting to smoke. In the meantime, I am mixing up two tablespoons of butter. Butter is not an Asian staple, but I'm mixing it. I'm going to blend it. I think I used this, uh, I tried to whisk it and that wasn't right. So I'm just going to get out as much of the butter as I can and add a little bit more of the red miso paste. Miso is Japanese, as you know. So we're just going to blend this because it goes in at the end. But we want to get it going now. Okay? And this is going to add a... You can see the smoking. Therefore, add the... Leaf, turn it down a bit. We just want to wilt them. Turn on the fan, I guess. You're gonna hear me well if you turn on the fan. But this shouldn't take long. Once they're wilted, we're going to add the um, uh, chopped water chestnuts and I'm here doing a little mix of butter and red miso. So the thing with the mint, which is, you know, kind of, it's used in some Southeast Asian cooking, but not Chinese cooking, and the miso is Japanese. This is Pan-Asian, and I'm inspired by that restaurant that I'm really channeling here. So that's for later. And then just gonna get this going without, oh, it's, it's starting to brown. We want to get the leeks. The leeks are basically the, uh, another layer of flavor, the onions, and then this is an onion flavor, a mild onion flavor. And then I'm just gonna get that going like that. And then at quite high temperature, but I turned it down. And we're gonna, we've got these leaks kind of coming to, um, becoming um, translucent. And just 
keep going like that. They don't need to be browned. And they shouldn't be. I have a couple that are. But that's okay. Now, this is the time where we add the mushrooms with all uh, the mint, a little olive oil, and we're gonna keep going. Turn this fan off because I don't think I need it anymore and you can't hear me. Okay, so now we're walking up. I got a little, turn it up a little. I'm gonna take away this plastic thing. Oh, you know that when you, after you add the noodles, you're gonna to wanna to add you you're gonna to wanna to add the fun sauce. Fun being a noun, not an adjective and we just want to get you can't stop stirring because you have a hot lot keep it going keep it going keep it going this is a vegetarian dish and you won't you will not miss meat keep going keep going I want to see that the mushrooms are cooking down. You can see they are. Okay. I gotta turn this down to medium. Add the noodles. And at this point, I need to use tongs because we're gonna try to keep everything separate and we're going to keep these mushrooms and veggies and chestnuts you know we want them in play we don't want them just on the bottom and of course they want to be on the bottom because of the gravity So I do it like this. Do a little shake. Stir it up like that. And then you see the mushrooms come and the leeks. You can smell the mint. Aromatics love that. I'm gonna turn this quite low now. I'm gonna add the fun sauce. I'm adding all of it because you just need to heat it all up. And there's no real way of saying, oh, let's, let's do three quarters of a cup because your noodles are going to be I'm gonna soak that all up. Okay, I'm taking it off the heat. I can tell that it needs to be. And can you see that? I can tell that it needs to be, otherwise everything's going to go um, into the burning stage. And now I'm going to add the miso with the butter. And that's an entire other level. Everything is a new level, not just mint, not just fun sauce. And you want that, you might wanna go back on the heat now because you need that miso butter to heat, to melt, okay? So that's 
what we're doing now. We're melting the miso into the mushrooms and mint, and you're going to freaking love it. Okay. Um, I'm plating this now. This is exactly what you want. So I gotta turn off the video and show you. Okay, so before plating, we're gonna add fresh cabbage, Napa cabbage, and that's gonna provide lightness, freshness, and gorgeous uh, bite and then a quite lovely flavor. So now we don't need, we don't, that, took, that will wilt, but it will also have a bite. And we're gonna, we're gonna do a nice um, plating. Stir it up, stir it up. Oh, I might need this. This will be good. Remember all the mushrooms are in there. Remember all the, this cabbage is fresh and doesn't need to be cooked, but there's also great. Let's see what goes on in here. I probably will. I'll put it up like that. And then I'll want to do some mushrooms from the bottom. Mushrooms. And what else did I have in there? I had leeks. Mushrooms and leeks, and we put that on top and take a little towel, and that's and that's the Shanghai noodles. I think you will like it if you try it. <laughs> 